Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, love uh, prediction reading for Virgo for 2023. Uh, you could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we are going to take a look and see uh, what's coming towards you guys in love for 2023, what's surrounding you guys, and then we'll finish off the read uh, with advice, what else you guys need to know, look out for, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other places if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular so if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So Virgo, tell me about Virgo in love. What's coming towards Virgo in love for 2023? What's coming towards Virgo in love for 2023? What's surrounding Virgo in love for uh, 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Virgo. We have the six of wands. We have the Three of Swords, okay. You know, I feel like you are currently, or in the past, recently, you've gone through like a heartbreak here. And I feel like you're trying to move past it, but I feel like, you know, I feel like there's an energy of like not acknowledging the pain, okay? Trying to cover it up here, trying to pretend like everything's okay when it really isn't. Um, we have the Five of Pentacles, okay? We have the Lovers here, Gemini Energy. We have the Ten of Swords. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. You know, I still, like, for 2023, if you just have broken up with somebody here because someone here juggled you or left you for somebody else, I feel like you're still going to be going through that. Yeah, you're going to be going through that pain. You're going to be going through the emotions here, okay? Uh, I do feel like someone here has left you or will leave you here, okay? Five of Pentacles and the Lover's Gemini Energy, the Ten of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. It seems like there is or will be a betrayal, okay? Whatever is happening here because someone here is going to juggle you. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like someone here is kind of like is getting a lot of attention somewhere else. It could be a situation that someone here feels like they're not getting something here with you and they're looking for, for it somewhere else, okay? Um, tell me about the Six of Wands here. Could be sex. And we have the Death card. Seems like there's an ending here. Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Three of Swords. The Empress, Libra Taurus here. Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. You know, I feel like what's happening here, I feel like you invested your whole heart into a relationship here. And I feel like someone here is hurting you or has hurt you or will hurt you. Uh, you know, I feel like there's a situation that someone here walked away or it took a lot of courage for someone to walk away from a situation here. So this this could be someone that you're, you're, you're dealing with that's going to walk away or has walked away or that this is you walking away. The uh, Lovers. This is probably going to happen sometime in the springtime, if it hasn't happened already. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. We have um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with that Page of Pentacles in the reverse here. Whatever is going on here, I just feel like this is someone that you don't really want to speak to anymore. Or if this person's coming towards you, I feel like this person's coming towards you in a way where they're not giving you what you want. You might not be accepting this person's apology right now. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. With a King of Cups in the reverse. Two of Pentacles here. And then we have the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. Whoever this is, I feel like this individual was, was very emotionally manipulative. Or that they are emotionally manip manipulative. You know, I feel like, you know, it's an energy of like, okay, they're saying the right things to sort of like keep you around. But I feel like this person's definitely is right now or will be doing something behind your back. Okay, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, which is in the reverse. What else does Virgo need to know? Advice for Virgo when it comes to love in 2023. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. There you are right here. We have the Tower here, Aries, Scorpio energy. So what's happening is that 
I feel like they're trying to avoid a disaster with this individual. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you could be going into hermit mode here. You know, you could be introspecting, self-reflecting on this like major shift that has happened in your relationship or will happen. Okay. Um, we have the Three of Cups in the reverse. We have the Seven of Swords. There's someone that you don't trust. Okay. Um, you know, I, see, I feel like what's happened here is I feel like you basically really let your guard down or that you basically had really leaky boundaries with this individual. And I feel like moving forward, I feel like you are going to cut this person out. This person might be coming back in for a reconciliation, but you don't trust this person. Okay, sometimes that seven of swords can be a representation of like, uh, like a self-preservation energy, using those swords to protect yourself. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse and the Seven of Wands in the reverse here, you know, one of the tough lessons that you have learned is having strong boundaries here, okay? Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups in the reverse, you know, this could be an indication that someone here is having a hard time moving on from you or that there is resistance of an ending that's happening here. So I feel like you might bow out here gracefully, you know? So uh, tell me about the Hermit here. We have the Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Tower. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. You're not having so great memories about this person that you've been dealing with here. Six of Cups in the reverse. And I feel like you're playing these like bad memories over and over and over and over again in your head. And, you know, I just feel like there's still some trauma that you're still, um, still needing to heal through 2023 regarding a situation that you've been through here. Three of Cups in the reverse. We have the world. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I do feel like a third party might have snuck in here to sort of like take away your person or your person could have willingly went over to the other side of the grass. But with the world card and the Three of Cups in the reverse, this is pretty much over for you. Okay. Yeah, it seems like someone here is, is taking your person away from under your nose sort of thing, okay? The Wheel of Fortune here, Queen of Wands, Aries, Wheel of Sag, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. We have the Chariot in the reverse, Seven of Wands in the reverse, and the Four of Wands in the reverse. Um, there is definitely a situation where things can't come back together again, ever, okay? And I feel like you're going, you know, I feel like you're going to be going through like a major spiritual awakening here with the Judgment card here, or that you're finally seeing real, things really clearly here, Virgo. Okay, we have Judgment, Sagittarius Energy on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's just too much conflict. You know, I feel like you're unhappy. You know, I feel like you've given so much of, of your heart to this individual, but you know, whatever this person was reciprocating back to you, it was just all a fantasy. It was all a lie here. Okay, I feel like this person was more in it for sex or something like that. I think I mentioned that, right? But yeah, I just feel like, you know, you could be learning some big lessons here. Okay, so uh, Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.